Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? We're doing a video of my wind turbines and solar system. Uh, let's see if we can get here real good. We're walking along. The sun's kind of bright. But it's cold as Jesus out here today. But they are cranking. Yep, they are cranking. But anyway, I just want to show y'all a video of what it does in low winds uh, here in Virginia. We are li I live in low wind areas, so I'm going to show you what, they'll, what they can do. All right, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. I mean, not bye-bye, but I'm, I'm here. <laughs> All right, here we go. And we got about a five to 10, maybe some 15 mile an hour gusts today, but they are putting up the power. Putting up the power, I ain't kidding you. And that was a 24 volt right there on your left. 24 volt, um, 400 watt wind max, or HY. And this is a SWE, uh, 48 volt, 500 or 400 watt, with a wind max five blade tail on it I mean five blade hub and blades she is cranked all right okay she's all a mess that's where I keep all my which my stuff at anyway if you show, I showed you other previous videos but both my wind turbines come right into here come into my combiner box my wind combiner box right here and that's my Missouri wind and solar combiner box can't tax a box, you probably get them anywhere, but I got it from Missouri Wind and Solar. It's um, uh, disabled. Can't get out and about like most people can, so I've got to order everything online. These are my UL Solar panels I mounted on my wall here to get all the sun I can get for this time of year in the wintertime and summer. Kerosene 135s. Alright, let's go out over here. Those are my solar air heaters. Homemade job built right there. Nice. And one of one of purchase off eBay. Here we go. And those are six QSR 135s on the roof. Right there, and those are two, two more U 140 watt UL solars on an Iron Ridge uh, top of pole mount with a three inch, uh, three inch schedule 40 pipe down about three foot in the ground, grounded. Everything I have is grounded. Uh, I'm wind turbines or anything else. But they are cranking today. And that's my Davis man's view. On town. And like I said, the winds come out of the, straight out of the north, northwest. These panels are pointing these panels are pointing directly to the south. Alright. But I got my, my both my wind turbines going to that combiner box. My 48 volt and my 24 volt. And they're going underneath the ground. Two right here. Alright. To my DC DC side. And my rectifiers are in, 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 in this side of the shop here. Alright, come on. 
this power of my house. And that way it's not on, on your house or connected to your house. Um, which, you know, I think is a good idea. But with each own. Let me unlock the shade right here, y'all. Turn some lights on. I know that these videos seem like they're getting monotonous all the same thing, but I'm going to start making some new, improved videos. Uh. Alright, let me turn some lights on right here. And this is where the SWE, now orange cables are coming from. Now orange, three phase. Comes around to here. Runs around here, goes in that rectifier right there. That's number two. That's number a Swede. This is Swede rectifier, and inside that midnight solar box is my other rectifier. And those are my brakes for number one turbine. That's the back. That's where the wind max. And this is no. That's where the wind max. Twenty four volt. And this is for the Swede. Um, number two, wind turbine. And it's brake switches. Alright. And this is my off-grid system. Uh, the complete off-grid system I got for stereo, radios, all that kind of stuff. And this is a, my Morningstar charge controller. For my off-grid stuff. And so this is a Xantrax um, ProSign. ProWatt ProSign 600 Watt. Does a great job. And there's my AGM batteries I'm using. Alright, let's go over here and see what we're doing for when. Today. And today is about like in the, uh, it is in the, like 31 degrees. I think it might be even more than that. But, 29 degree wind chill. Alright, here we go. Average wind speeds there, 8.4 to 6.8 and within the last 10 minutes. So we're getting good winds. And right now, we're putting out 1.2 amps with the wind. Steady. And that's, that's a 9 mile an hour winds, y'all. Y'all asking about low wind. And there you go. Good two two amps. But you're just humming along. Hard eight mile an hour, nine. And let me see here. Now this is my diversion control loader. And this is where all my wires come in from a wind. Wind positive. Wind negative right here. Wind wind negative battery. Wind positive, and that goes into my watch for you right there. Alright, and solar, we are putting out 575 watts of solar right now. And this is at 10.58 in the morning. And we are we are cranking today. And that's what it's showing you what it's doing right now. If y'all can see that. But, anyway. Let's go ahead and see what we're doing. But, today, it's an average wind speed day. And the max winds we've had today so far are 19 mile an hour wind at 8.19 8, a.m. Okay, and we're putting out some power. And here, proofs in the pudding. Two hundred, almost two hundred watts maximum. All right, and that's your that's that's our uh, data that we we've collected this morning so far since about nine o'clock this morning. And here's the other chart. 
and this shows you what it's done in the past uh, 15 minute period and this, these things are awesome if you want to collect all your data this is great and I just got this hooked to my wind term because I already got data collector on my my wind for everything goes in from my from a charge controller there alright from a charge controller from a solar goes through my DC connect box then goes to my inverter and and right here it's showing the showing meter working it's going to town it's been it's collecting everything I'm collecting it goes into my uh, it goes to my house goes to my do my meter up there and goes to my my box I have in the other part of the shop but anyway uh, I gotta cut this video short getting too long but thank y'all for watching and here is the results and low wind situations anywhere from 5 to 10 mile an hour you're putting out power and the watt hours so far today are 17.05 watt hours so doing good on low wind situations all right y'all I'm gonna head outside the shop here oh yeah Dakota girls www.fishingbuddiesbuddygirls.com <laughs> I have a good one thank you for watching and it's always a pleasure having y'all watch my videos but as you can see I'm uh, addicted to this uh, to this stuff anyway there they are going strong Y'all have a good one, y'all. Thank you for watching.